welcome. Today we're going to take a look at my two favorite recent features uh, from Obsidian. I'm currently using 0.9.1 um, as of September 30th is what I'm using. So this may actually be the Insider's build, but there's two really cool features specific with the graph view that I have come to love over the last little bit. And they're new-ish. New Before we dive into those, though, I want to let you know there's two ways to support the channel. Number one is to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, support the channel. Number two is to go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare and take my course on TickTick, my task manager choice. Buckle up. So what we have here is we have um, some notes on a book called Barking Up the Wrong Tree, at least starting. And the thing I really love is, let's go up here to more options and open a local graph. So this is all of the stuff that um, is related to this note right here. Now we also have some filters you can see. I can change the node size, right? Now they're all relative anyways. So you can see they all grow, thickness of lines. Should love them way thicker. There you go. Link force, repel force, all that stuff. Link distance. All right, just some visual stuff. Arrows. There you go. That's cool. Shows that they're reciprocal, right? You can see the arrow going both ways. That's nice. And we can also do filters here. We can go depth. This is the important filter, I think. Is that gonna go? Take it out. And now I see two collapse and make this even just a little bigger. Now I can see two connections, right? I don't just see barking up the wrong tree. I actually have to see that it links out to right dandelions versus orchids, which also links to the second mountain. It leads to quiet and a book actually called the orchid and the dandelion. All right, I can see that this note here, the talent code, which is a book actually links out to deep work. That's that is what I really find most interesting. That was probably one of the biggest limiting factors I thought to Obsidian for quite a while was the fact that when you looked at graph view, it just was a big pile of links and you couldn't really do anything with it. And it was just so big that again, what do you even do? You can't even sort the data. So this is one thing. And then we're going to go over to the main graph view, close that and go to main graph view. And again, this is where we get to oh, see a big graph. Right, you can see like, what do you do with this to start? Like, what do I do with this? It's, I, I don't know. There's just so much happening that it's hard to figure out. So what I really like is I can go in here and I can include or exclude tag. So that's like a hashtag tag. And you can see they even have a different color to summarize. So I can see all the stuff I have to summarize. Right, you can see over here, uh, all the stuff I have to read. But what I really like is that I can go in here and I can say to read, all right? I could search. So it's just going to show me the stuff linked to read. And then I could also say marriage. This is really what I've wanted for a long time. So now I'm seeing all of the nodes that are read and or to read and marriage. I can see all these are books that I haven't read that I've tagged as marriage, right? There's just the tag I know I have for sure. Um, and you can also even toggle off existing files off and on. That doesn't do anything here. I wonder if it does anything in to read. So this would be ones that I have not actually created. I don't have any of those clearly. So you can see in to read, I have all these different nodes, right? I know this is actually a tag. But I can see like what or community. This is a holding note for thoughts on a longer term research project kind of on the breakdown of the community, right? You can show orphans, I can show any attachments that are in there. I don't really keep attachments in here. I think that my Zettelkasten system is for my thoughts, not for other people's thoughts. So I keep my attachments, my files, my primary sources off in Dev and Think. Right, and again, we have our display. I can show arrows. I can change the line thickness, the link distance. I'm actually going to go link thickness. And I want Link force, link distance, node size. I want those a little bigger. Repel force, center force. 
So I like those. Those are the two things that I'm starting to find more and more useful. I do kind of wish I had a distance in here as well, but still I could go in and I could choose any one of these uh, 10 arguments for deleting your social media and I could open my local graph. And then I can go in and I could say depth. And I'd find that when I'm in here, 10 arguments for your social media is by uh, Jerome Lanier. It links to the social dilemma video uh, that I watched recently. And then the age of surveillance capitalism or propaganda is a note that I want to work on long term. Social media manipulation and automating humanity would be another book. All right, I can even go another depth. And just see more in here. Okay, what else relates to this? So that as I am doing any research, doing any, I guess probably even more production after research or note linking after an initial spot of research, I can go in, I can start to see like what else is related. Because that's really what your Zettelkasten system is about. It's about figuring out what is related and continuing to relate notes. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. If you loved it, then you subscribe, you hit the bell, and maybe possibly YouTube's going to let you know what happened. Uh, but you know, it's YouTube, so who knows? Um, and then there's two other ways to support the channel. You can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and support the channel, or you can go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, where you can take my course on TickTick. That's it. Have a good day.